Welcome back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Justin. I'm watching Every Disney Movie Ever. Today, I'm going to talk about A Friendship in Vienna. A Friendship in Vienna is a 1988 Disney Channel television release that is directed by Arthur Allen Seidelman, cinematography by Hanania Bear, editing by Burt Gladstein, music by Lee Holdridge, and it's written by Richard Alfieri. Arthur Allen Seidelman is best known for A Christmas Carol the Musical, Six Dance Lessons in Six Weeks, The Sisters, and Puerto Vallarta Squeeze. Hanania Bear is best known for Masters of the Universe, American Ninja, and After School Specials on both ABC and CBS. Burt Gladstein is best known for JAG, The Caller, NCIS, and Battlestar Galactica. Lee Holdridge I covered in the video about young Harry Houdini, the link will be in the description. Richard Alfieri is best known for I Love Liberty, Harvest of Fire, Revolutions, and this. The film is based off a book called The Devil in Vienna by Doris Orgel, released in 1978. I couldn't find a full plot synopsis so I won't be able to compare, but the book is about pretty much what the movie's about. Two girls in Austria, specifically Vienna, our best friends from when they were very young and immediately started school to when now 13 years old and struggles arise in their friendship when the Nazis start invading Austria because one girl's father is a Nazi and the other girl is Jewish and they must do everything in their power to keep their friendship alive and that is also what the movie is about. The film stars Jenny Lewis, Cami Harper, Jane Alexander, Stephen Mocked, and Edward Asner. Jenny Lewis plays Inga and is best known for The Wizard, Pleasantville, Bolt, and Foxfire. Cammie Harper plays Lisa and is best known for Beauty and the Beast, Sons and Daughters, Little Vegas, and this. Jane Alexander plays Hannah and I covered her in the video about Night Crossing. The link will be in the description. Steven Mocked plays Franz and is best known for The Monster Squad, Graveyard Shift, and Transfers for Jack of Swords. Edward Asner plays Opa Oscar and I covered him in the video about The Christmas Star. The link will be in the description. As I've already said, this film is about two girls who are friends and and then the Nazis come. One girl is Jewish, one girl is the daughter of a Nazi, and how they have to keep their friendship. And it is stressful. I was stressed the entire time. I kept thinking that family, Inga's family was gonna be taken to concentration camps. I was just, I was so stressed the entire film and I was so sick the entire film. And I know people don't like when I get political, but we have concentration camps in America right now at the border with immigrant children who don't have diapers. Children are taking care of infants and there's no toothbrushes and toothpaste and they have to sleep with the lights on with aluminum blankets. And I think about this daily and then to watch a movie that is taking place during Nazis, I just, it made me extra sick. And there's one moment in particular that my, like, I actually had a visceral gut reaction, and it's when Hannah, Jane Alexander's character, is giving Gustel, her longtime messenger, a tip for the last time because she's been let go, and he out of nowhere abruptly hiles Hitler, and, like, she jumped, and I, like, visually physically jumped and then my stomach just like the rest of the movie was so sick it's just I don't understand how people can think like that and it really is really upsetting and I just I can't believe it's happening right now but I know a lot of you don't like when I get political but if you're at all interested about the concentration camp situation at the border please read about it and educate yourself and those around you. Um, the movie was good. I actually really liked the movie. I know I just said I was stressed the whole time, but you want a movie that gives you a reaction of some kind. Inga and Lisa's friendship was incredible. Lisa was so brave and so was Inga. Inga convinces her family to get baptized as Catholic so they can leave the country safely and her parents are very against it because they're jewish they're not catholic and they're like it isn't the truth and we'd be lying and all of this and inga says why should we give the truth to someone who will kill us with it and it was such a powerful moment in the film and it, it convinced her parents to agree to get baptized by a priest who was willing to fake their baptismal papers and it was really, really stressful, but 
it was a good movie. I really loved Lisa and Inga. Lisa stood up for Inga and her family so much. She got beat by her dad, who was very high up in the Nazis. He was communicating with Hitler. It was intense. And uh, it just was a really timed well film for what's going on right now. So uh, that, that's everything. I don't really have anything else to say about the movie. I think um, I'll give it maybe seven? Seven medals? Seven friendships? Out of ten? Our total movie count is Parent, Death Toll, and Cry Count are still the same. If you want to keep up with the movie I'm watching when, follow me on Instagram or Twitter. You'll find out what we've been watching when. I put up videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Until next time, comment, like, subscribe, and I'm not sure if you are, so you do, and don't be a Nazi about it. Ever. Or anyone like that. I know I'm probably gonna get so many comments about people being like, they aren't concentration camps and blah blah blah, but they are. They're not detainee camps. They're not holding cells for immigrant children when it's not safe and sanitary in any way. It shouldn't even be there, but regardless, they don't have diapers. They haven't been allowed to shower. They don't have soap. They don't have toothpaste. They have to sleep with the lights on with the li <sighs> It's really, really, really sad.